Okay, here is 8-1 example 2, writing an exponential function. This one is heavy, heavy on the calculations. And look at all the general description of steps. You can get lost in the math here if you're not careful. But the general concept, and this is kind of explained here in words, if you want to watch my pen here as I describe this. The general concept is we need to solve, use these two points. These are x and y values on the graph. So we're going to use these at different times to solve for what the a and b values are for this function. And we're going to do it one at a time and then write it in the general form. Now, I don't want to tell you always solve for a or always solve for b because the points may not lend themselves to be easy in that direction. If you can't figure it out solving for A, then stop that and then solve for B and then solve for A later and then vice versa. So let's go ahead and try this one first. So I decided to put plug X and Y, this point right here, into this function. See, this is X, this is Y. So I'm going to say 0.84 equals A, B, and X is 1. See how I just replaced in this function, the general form, the, this point right here. Okay. Now I'm going to solve for A. I don't know, I just chose A. So solve for A, this is A times B. I'm going to divide both sides by B. Okay, That gives me, because these two cancel out here, because B to the first is just B. So A is equal to 0.84 over B. Now I have A. I have an X and a Y on another point. I need to use the general form again over here. Y equals A B to the X. I have X and I have Y and I have what A equals. I can plug that right here. I can use all these numbers to solve for B and find out finally what B is as a number. So let's go ahead and do that. Y is 1.008. I know what A is. It's right here. 0.84 over B. And X right here is 2. So this becomes times b squared. And this is going to happen a lot. You're going to have to do some rules of exponents how to cancel stuff. b squared divided by b, there's 2 on top, 1 on the bottom, 2 minus 1, it just equals a b on the top. So this becomes 1.008 on the left, and it's just times 0.84b. We need to solve for b, so divide by 0.84 on both sides. Let's see what this equals. 1.008 divided by 0 0.84, 1 1.2. So it looks like B is equal to 1.2. So we're almost there. Now we just take this number and plug it back in where we solve for the other variable and solve. So 0 0.84 divided by 1.2 is going to be A. And that's going to be, I can just leave 1.2. No, I can't. So 0.84 divided by 1.2, 0.7. So it's like A is 0.7. So now I can use those and write them in the general form as the exponential. So it's Y equals A, 0.7, B, 1.2 to the X power.